guys, how you doing? In this video we're going to do something a little bit differently. I've been getting quite a lot of comments recently with people saying, can you review some more budget RCs? We can't all afford all this expensive stuff. And generally, I try and stay away from the really cheap stuff because sometimes, or most of the time, it's not actually any good. But I've been hearing a lot of good stories about this one here. And a lot of you guys keep telling me, oh, get this, test it out, it's brilliant. It could be good for some of the younger viewers or people that don't want to spend too much money. So, I've went ahead and bought myself one and I'm going to test it out. I've not even opened it up yet, I've never seen it. I don't know what to expect. Also, I've got my phone here and so what I could do with this is get some close-up shots of things while we do this little unboxing. By the way guys, one thing worth considering, especially when you're buying some of these cheaper RC cars, is that you can buy all the spare parts. And looking on eBay guys, you can actually buy everything for these. There's a lot of upgrades as you can see down here. You can buy spare batteries, spare chargers, you can get a load of aluminium upgrade, spare spur gears, shocks. I mean, by the looks of it guys, you can get everything for these things. All the spares are available, a lot of upgrades and a lot of spare parts. And guys, that is very important when you're buying any RC cars, that you can get spare parts. If you can't get parts, and that's the trouble with a lot of the toy grade RC cars, is once you bust them, that's it, you're finished. You can chuck it in the bin and you have to buy a new one. All right, let's crack this thing open then and see what's going on. We've got instructions, we've got the car. So by the way, this is the WL Toys Vortex 118 scale electric ready to run. But most people actually refer to this as this thing here, the A959. The radio doesn't look too bad. It's got a bit of a cheapy feel to it, but you know, what do you expect for the price? Comes with a battery and charger. Well, I think it comes with a battery. Let's have a look under the lid and see. Yep, battery in there. Oh, and it's a LiPo. I don't really know what to say about this. I don't really know much about it. I mean, it's four wheel drive. It's a buggy. I mean, for the price, it doesn't look bad. Brushed motor, but it does look quite big for the size of the car. So I'm gonna charge this thing up, then we're gonna take it out and give it a bit of a blast and see what this thing's all about. The only trouble is this comes with a European plug socket. And the adapter that comes with it looks like an American one. So here in the UK, we need an adapter, but I don't think I've got one. Here in the UK, this is what our plug sockets look like. And uh, we probably could bodge it in there, actually. This is completely against health and safety, guys. Just shove that in there. Ah, we're in. We're in. And we're charging. Guys, don't do this at home. This is stupidity. But I've got to do this to so I can review this thing for you guys. So, the radio by the looks of it, takes four AA batteries. All right, so this thing's charged up now. I didn't actually time it, but I'm guessing it probably took about half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. All right, so usually to get these things to work, you first turn on the radio first, and then you can go ahead and plug in the car battery. Guys, that... That is some actually pretty fast steering servo. I mean, and it even works on here. This is like a rubbery surface. I'm pretty impressed with that. And this is actually a hobby grade RC. If you look at some of the cheaper ones, like you know, like the sort of things that you're going to get in Walmart or Tesco's or the sort of like the toy grade ones, they're not going to come with a proper servo, and you're not really going to get proper steering. You're just going to get sort of full lock, full left or full right. <laughs> Guys, that is pretty fast. Uh, looks fast anyway. So we'll get it outside, give it a quick speed run. And then we might take it out somewhere else and give it a little run in the real world to see how, how good this thing actually is. So let's have a little closer look at this thing. So, suspension wise, it, it's got double wishbone suspension, front and rear, but it doesn't appear to have any oil in the shocks. So under the bonnet, we've got some proper electronics in here. So we've got a real servo, and even the radio system isn't bad. I mean, for the price, you really can't go wrong. Even comes with a LiPo battery and charger. All right, let's see how fast this thing can go. It's gotta be 20, isn't it? Ha! 25! <laughs> That's pretty amazing for a little thing like that. Alright, 
So let's go to the skate park, air this thing out. Maybe we can find some kids up there, give it to a kid and just see how this thing gets on. All right, so how good does this thing work on the grass? <laughs> Not bad. So I think for a more fair review, we've got to give it to a child. Jump it, bash it, do whatever you want. Still going though. Go on, aim it out. Back flip. It's not bad actually, is it? Oh. Go on, flat out, nail it. Missed! Oh, I missed again! Is it poor servo or poor driver? I'll oh, see if Dad can break it. Come on, Dad, air it out! <laughs> hey! Should we hit the skate park with it? Yeah, come on. Yeah. Go for it, give it your best. <laughs> Oh! 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 <laughs> it's still it's taking it. I'm actually impressed with this little thing. Oh, I think you broke it now. Oh, you broke it. <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> Dad won't have a go at airing it out. Of course. But you got to get as much air as you possibly can. Okay. <laughs> Will it backflip? Will it backflip? <laughs> oh, no. oh, nose planted it. Or it, something just jammed up, does it move? Try pushing it. Oh. Something's jammed. Alright, well dad killed it. <laughs> What's it done? Jammed something. I think it might have been the nose part. Oh yeah, look, the motor's bent. Oh, is it? Oh. Well, look at the gap. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's bent. So you can straighten that out and we can go again. Yeah, go for it. I don't know if we can do it here. I'm super impressed with this thing actually. I mean, I didn't really expect much. I mean, for the price of this, it is stupidly cheap. And like, yeah, it's not really gonna compare against like one of the proper bigger brands like Traxxas or HBI or something like that. But for what it is, this thing's epic. I mean, we tried to break it. We went out there with the intention of busting it up. We was bouncing it off of things. We was jumping it, we was airing it out. And it was taking it and taking it and taking it. And the only damage that's actually happened was it's bent the motor. The actual motor's bent. So I'm gonna be able to take, I'll take this apart later on, straighten it out, put it back together, and it should be good to go again. But seriously, guys, I mean, for the price, I, I would definitely say it's a, it's a good beginner RC car. I mean, it's definitely exceeded all my expect expectations. I, you know, I really did not expect it to be as fast. I did not expect it to last as long as it has. So guys, I hope, I, I hope you like this video. Give us a comment down below what you reckon of this thing. There's also, I'm gonna put a link down below of where you can get this thing from. So alright guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button to stay notified. See you soon. Bye.